We are once again done? recording. Yes, that's true. So, so I so, was busy so. cooking. Yep, and Pleasant and the Malkavian. Malkavian, you wanted to head out into town. Mm -hmm. Do you wish to take Pleasant along since she's right there? Why would I do that? God damn it. <laughs> Thanks. Pleasant, you see the Malkavian just start heading down the street. He crosses the street to not walk next to you. I'll just go my own path, then if he doesn't want me, why do I want him then? That's right. Fuck the rest of the pack, right? Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 what's they... your loyalty tip? What's your, what's your uh, rating again with that, with the uh, bouldery? Not sure, I think you don't it's not really hard. Just though. take note of that because it matters. Yeah, I know, I know. I started taking math, like starting like the second time we did it, first time I forgot. Yay. Yeah. Like the first time sets your actual level, after that it's only it increased or decreased, yeah, yeah, I know. It only decreases if you draw one. Yeah, we know. So just wanted to make sure he knows. Um why don't we handle Pleasance first? Sure. Um, yes. Describe to me how you're hunting and what you're doing. Uh, first to ask, what time is it? It's the start of the night. The sun has gone down like... Or it has turned twilight to the point where vampires don't immediately burn up. Something like... Oh, let me think. Two and a half or so hours ago, so it's nearing midnight. Okay. Um, I guess I'll go down again at the farmer's market, trying to find another tasty hunk. Okay. You're specifically looking for a tasty hunk as opposed to whoever you can find. <laughs> mm, yes, I'll look for somebody who looks delicious. Okay, make me an appropriate charisma-based role. Charisma Empathy will do if you just want to play on their lust. Yeah, I will play on their lust because that's what I do. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, don't take anything else. Uh, so Charisma Empathy, okay, that's... Uh, what's the difficulty, six? Uh, yes, here's the thing. You can either go for quantity, in which case you can... will essentially look for as many people as you can. Okay. Or you can or go can for look... quality. I'll go for quality. Okay. Should I roll again then? Uh, do you have a charisma specialization picked out? Uh, graceful. Okay, that would apply. In which case you find a... Uh, well, decent looking guy. Probably appearance of... Well, I would say... Well, at least two. Um, that's average. Yeah, that's average. And three is a essentially full success. With one, she would have to roll for ugliness, most likely. <laughs> so he's okay looking. He's average. Okay, that yeah. means I hope it won't kick uh, in. Yeah, okay looking. Like he's. It looks like he's pretty decent looking naturally. He's just not dressed to emphasize how good looking he really is. Oh, well, we're on a farmer's market. I don't expect anything much shell noise. He's just uh, so, smoking in a dark corner. Um, he's not accompanied but by anybody, I hope. Not at the moment. Um, I'll use my uh, Auspex level 2 and try to see what his aura is. Okay. Make a Perception Empathy roll in that case at 8. Okay. Perception Empathy, difficulty 8. Okay, what do you wish to know? Uh, Grace, oh, he's going to Perception, Empathy, uh, oh yeah, Perception, I took a intentative, the, the, I guess that doesn't help uh, in times of aspects, does it? Uh, it generally doesn't help with discipline, discipline yeah. roles, no. Yeah, okay. Uh, the exception is Satan, because he took a 5-point merit to make his dementation, you know, lower difficulties, that kind of thing. Mm. So, uh, what's the art of the guy? Oh, well, do you 
Oh, wow. wow. The fuck was that? Thunder. I'm presuming that was uh. Thunder. Yeah. Yeah, that was a that's a storm happening outside. Jesus Christ. Uh, let me just finish my hunt and I gotta go. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. So 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 so. Right. Uh, um. I'll you know what? Just I'll just go up to the guy, try to make some sweet talk, and attempt to dominate the guy and tell him to. Uh, follow me to another secluded place so I can embrace him and then use forgetful mind on him. Okay. Uh, give me the roll for dominate one and uh, dominate three then. Um, for dominate one, it was manipulation leadership, I think. Intimidation. Oh, intimidation. Okay, difficulty is six. Uh, yes, since you don't know his willpower. Okay. And for the forgetful mind, and that was what again? Manipulate no, with, uh, with subterfuge. Okay, with subterfuge, that is uh, difficulty six again, or is it higher? Ah, uh, six. Okay. Okay. So, are you gonna be back, or are you just gonna ride off uh, into the sunset? I might. I might be back if the weather becomes a bit, bit better, but you know, in the meantime, nothing then. And you can stay in the call if you want, or you, well, we can focus on someone else while it calms down a little. Eh, I'll just, I'll just go, not make any problems. Anyways, uh, in the meantime, after I hunt, I'll just avoid the manor and uh, Daniel and the Torridor in general. <laughs> okay, do you wish to sleep at the manor or are you gonna try and find shelter uh, elsewhere? In the morning. Mm, if need be, I have uh, five hundred dollars on me, so I guess I'll just look for a one night thing in a you know cheap place. I guess. Uh, keep in Instead mind, of, those places no generally have people that don't are that are not good. Uh, actually, give me a roll of. Well, let's go with wits and what's appropriate for the streetwise, I guess, which you don't have. Yeah, so just wits? Yeah. Okay, difficulty? Uh, probably six. I doubt you're very familiar with motels. Okay. Yeah. So Don't worry gonna... about it. So you'll we'll find gonna... out eventually. Uh, in case, uh, if, uh, if I'm gonna stay somewhere, uh, I guess I'll just call uh, up my uh, little bodyguard ghoul to come with me. Okay. <laughs> Fuck off, Jack. Anyways, uh, I guess that's it then. Uh, I'll see you guys later then. Alright. See ya. Okay. The Malkavian, then. You are heading to cause more chaos, I believe. Trying to encourage this chaos further. Alright. How do you wish to proceed about that? Well, with the... Uh, presumably already putting the commands in last week. Just focus on making things much more intense. Uh-huh. Okay. In that case... Oh, uh, also, just to remind you that uh, for my increasing of feelings and everything, uh, that's based off of, you know, humanity and everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm generally uh, using this on a lot of low lives, etc. Mm -hmm. Yay. Uh, give me a uh, wit stealth roll. Alright. To to do find moments where you can make sure that a couple important people die in an extremely cowardly way, namely poison. And 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 Yeah, give me that roll. Difficulty six, you do it well enough and this will most certainly erupt into open warfare there. Hmm. It's really me that has to do the poison stuff? Uh, generally, they would be... Yeah, that's not the way they do things. They 
wouldn't even know how to get poison. It would take time for them to get it and employ it on their own. Keeping in mind, I that, was I was really figuring that I would just give one of them to shoot the guy unexpectedly when I said assassination kind of stuff. And they are doing that in the streets, but it's not yet at the point where they are howling for blood, if you know what I mean. It's, it will get there, but it's ramping up. If you want okay. to accelerate that, you need to do something that is, you know, a completely, <laughs> you know, you have to get well, the, them to see the other side as being completely dishonorable and requiring of extermination. Okay, well, if that's the case, I do have obfuscate too. You do. It's more along the lines of catching a moment where, 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 you know, no one's looking at the coffee shop kind of thing. And, you know, I'm gonna say that with obfuscate too, I, it would be probably very easy for you to find an appropriate moment when no one's looking. So, difficulty four, I think. All right. But that's a good point. It wouldn't be particularly hard. Okay. It uh, takes you a few hours to uh, arrange for things. But when you're done, someone who styled himself the dawn of the local mafia, after meeting with some uh, Russians, suddenly keels over and dies. When after the meeting, <laughs> where they were discussing the recent troubles and how to make peace, apparently someone poisoned him during that. <laughs> so now... <laughs> yes, go on. Oh. I see, Jackalore. Just the thing I found. Commenting on Pleasant's situation? Nah, just in general. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Meanwhile, you hear uh, faintly in the distance uh, Kintia calling you Daniel. You are Who calls me? Uh, Kintia, you are at the moment out in the graveyard feeding the uh, ghoul that is apparently has apparently spent the past week hiding in the crypt. I leave the food. Essentially, what I would have done is left the food and water there and then stepped outside. Yeah, the smell was kind of getting to you. Yeah. <laughs> As in, step like here. To, uh, <laughs> to be sure. Yeah, I answer the phone. It's not a phone, she's calling you like across. You hear oh. it from the house. Oh. Daniel! The f Daniel! I walk up to her. And she comes striding down the path. The fuck? Where's Pleasant? Yeah, she apparently got a uh, left. What? So. Yeah. Yes, she left the house. Uh, I did find her ghoul, though. Oh. Do you, like, have her phone number? I don't think I do. Oh. Well. Well. That seems... disorganized. I haven't talked to him. Uh, I haven't talked to her much recently. I see. You know, I, I'm really not sure that you fit in here. You see, like you got your shit together. Why are you with this about? Fit among, in amongst the Camarilla. I mean, I, I Just. guess, but. Seriously, here with these, you're better than this. 
My loyalty lies with the Sabbat. But come on. I have my reasons. You cannot dissuade me. Okay, okay, I didn't mean to step, step on any toes. I'll, I'll back off. So, her yeah. ghoul, where is he? In there, you probably don't want to go in there. It smells terrible. It's, look, it seems as if, he, as if he's been there a week. I, it's a terrible idea. Huh. Oh, God, I breathed some of it in. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I'll just step over here. Um, <laughs> so, what the fuck is he doing in there? I have no idea. I'm getting the vague suspicion that not everything is as it should be with that Pleasance woman. It's... Why would she put him in there? That's a very good question. Someday I'm going to find out. Did she have another one? Yes. Do you have any idea where he is? Probably inside. Does that one know where, where she is? I haven't asked, no, but... Let me see. I've been forced to tend with her ghouls and she apparently doesn't know how to tend with them. Or tend to them. Wow. That that's mildly incompetent. Yes, mildly. So I don't know. Maybe we should question the other one. Yes, it's probably a good idea. I doubt he'll be able to get himself uh, killed in there. Eh. Yeah, go probably inside. not. So you go to find the other ghoul. Meanwhile, the the nerd is choking on uh, on the food and dies horribly. No, no, not with as well as you scored on that. Okay, Actually, let's just making sure. Don't tempt me, but no. I am tempting you. You could just kill the ghoul if you wanted to, as punishment. No, I her. can't kill him directly. That would be wrong. Oh, you have this code from Kelvin's game where you sabotage each other, but not too directly, right? Well, does that end up on my path? Oh, I see. You confront him as he's coming down the stairs. Uh, excuse you that. Me. Oh. Uh, where I is your ma a mistress? Um, I'm not sure I should... Tell me. Um, oh, come on, don't... Tell! <laughs> Emphasis on the tell? Yes. Give me a roll. I'm going to assume you won't be giving my difficulty. Okay. I think I succeeded. <laughs> okay. Um... He tells you exactly where Pleasance is staying, how to get there, and that he has been summoned to her side and commanded to guard her during the day while she sleeps it off. What time is it right now? It's still early, right? Yeah, it's still uh, very early. Wait, uh, you mentioned that uh, she would only do that near the very end of the night. Yes, but... Uh... I know where you can show her. I think we know where you can show her the paintings. I. He did say that he would inform his goals, right? He said yes. that uh, after he uh, got the hotel and everything. I thought he was doing it right now. No, That's he said he'd cool. do that. Uh, he might end up doing that if he needs to. Oh well, this happened already. In that case, yeah, he tells you that he doesn't know and that he hasn't met her. Sorry. That's a good point. Aw. 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 What if you hear anything? Please tell us. Um, We're so worried about her. Uh, sir. <coughs> I, I feel like I have to tell you that I won't have any choice but to 
tell mistress that you dominated me. Yes, do that. It's for the best. You see him breathe a sigh of relief when he thinks you're not looking as he heads off doing his ghoulie things. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kynthia is looking very, very intently at one of the doors. Um, Daniel? Yes? What is it? What is it? Um, why is that child obfuscated? Is that something... Yes, why is he obfuscated? <laughs> you see the obfuscate break and Katrina is just standing there with a shocked look of betrayal on her face. Sir, what are you doing here hiding? Nothing. Get away from me, you creep. Ugh. But why? Why would you hide from us? We have not. You have nothing to fear here. This, I'm not gonna tell you. I know. Uh, give me a perception roll. Okay, just perception. Uh, perception, empathy, if you have any. Well, I don't, so... Difficulty? Uh, six. This is an opposed <laughs> roll, but... <laughs> okay! I actually succeeded. You succeeded really well as she botched. <laughs> you managed to corner her and somehow in bits and pieces get the story out of her. You're pretty sure she doesn't come out and say it, but she doesn't trust you and she's been following you around looking for incriminating shit you've been doing. But I am a completely trustworthy individual. <laughs> I assume that that is out of character. In character, actually. Kintia, meanwhile, is face bombing. I serve the Sabbath first and foremost. So do I, but you don't see me doing the kind of things you do. I think I. Yes, yes, of course, you serve the Sabbath, and I trust you. I, I really do. I just, I do, but... <laughs> For some reason, I have a feeling you aren't speaking the truth here. Listen, I just... What the fuck do you want from me? I want you to serve the Sabbat, like I want all of us to do. The but, but the only reason we have guards is me! You yes, killed I one of the last ones, we that. had one left! You sabotaged the whole place and I've been trying to keep it together! How can you ask me how I can tr not trust you? You have every reason not to, you keep fucking... You just... No! If I was a less reasonable, in reasonable individual, I would be trying to eat you right now. But I am a very reasonable person. I would rather not do that. I like you and yours, Sire. Roll manipulation intimidation. <laughs> so you got the hint. <laughs> You've got the hint. courage or willpower, depending on. Or just six, and oppose it. Uh, it's six, it's gonna be an opposed draw, because she's definitely not just gonna fold. Wow. You suck today, huh? The dice are not yes, on your side. Uh, does my uh, manipulation thing count? I'll have to check what it is. Uh, you will have so to check you... what... Yes, I'll be checking right now. Mm-hmm. That's why I asked. One unsinkable... Uh, persuasive! Uh, Does that work? Yes, I think... Wait a moment. So. Uh, did you say manipulation? Yes, persuasive. 
Oh wait, I'm thinking of the other one. Yep. This is one. Yes, yes, it probably would. You have a very high manipulation. Yes, I do. In fact, that would be four successes then, in which case you see her visibly gulp and step back, pressing herself against the wall involuntarily. Now don't go around uh, and break, uh, break anything, will you? She just nods nervously. <laughs> now, go along. Shits off. Kintia just gives you a smug smile that says essentially Neonites, am I right? I smile back. As a Neonate himself. <laughs> she yeah. doesn't know that, and I, I, am, a, I am in fact an E generation. Uh, generation doesn't matter crap. So. That's what you think. Uh. <laughs> okay, so you're the doctors now officially, right? Pretty sure that. Uh, you, Satan, would have all the doctors' phone numbers and contact information as well. Would you have shared that with Daniel? And would you have shared Daniel's with the others? Uh. I would probably have shared Daniel's with others if they uh, requested it. And the same goes for Daniel. If he ever requests it, I have it. Did Daniel request it? Was he that smart? <laughs> I have five wits, but only two intelligence, if that matters. Uh, so. Wits would probably apply, so I'll let you make a difficulty six roll to have realized that this is vital, given the troubles you have had with it. Okay. Why? Then, in that case, yes, you do have their contact information, and they most certainly have yours. Which means you could call Sally and ask her to undo your face. I don't think I'll be undoing it as much as asking her to improve it. As in an improved version of your original? Yes. Well, I don't know my original face, so... I'd probably take a picture of some attractive-looking person and I'd do it like this. Okay. If I'm you... like, that's not exactly so someone doesn't accidentally confuse me with him. You can call her and ask for it. It will probably be considered the boon of some description, but you can certainly get your face changed easily enough. It just currently I'm kind of, you know... Yeah. Apprehensive towards her. It's up to you. God damn it, this thing, she got fucked up again. Uh, Yone, are we interacting with Sally, or should I have another thing happen? Uh, I'm okay, I'll call her. Okay. Uh, you here after a uh, respectable pause? Someone answered the phone. Yes, Daniel. I was just thinking. Be still, you piece of Daniel. What did you want? Ah, uh, yes. Your modification to my face has been has served me admirably recently. Oh, I'm but, glad you liked it. But it would be I would really, it would be great if you could improve it some more, if that is within your power, of course. I wouldn't like to ask you something that you couldn't do. From manipulation expression, I think to. Uh, Try and convince her to do it, to appeal to her vanity, essentially. Would persuasive count here? Yes, most certainly. Good damn. That's it's a tie. For, that's for... That was for Kintia. Oh. Sally's social stats are nowhere near as good, don't okay, you worry. Okay, that's good to know. Just leaning against the wall here. Relaxed. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Pushing oh. all the buttons. All the right buttons. 
I, I, I'm glad you enjoyed it. it. It was a pretty good piece of work. I think I did a pretty good job of recreating Alexander. And I thought it might be useful as he officially owns the place you're staying. So I'm really happy you enjoyed my work. Yes, that's true. It has, as I said, it has served me admirably. But I have a, I came across a picture that I found extremely tantalizing. And I would like you to make it a little uh, similar look like that. Oh. Um, I, if that works for you, of course. I suppose I, I could fit you in. You hear muffled screams from the other end. And just a I'm second, I'm rearrange sorry, that. Uh, yeah, something. yeah, the jawbone. Yes, no, shove that there. Yes, no, just, just shove it in there. Yes, I'll, I'll be right there. We'll continue then. Just close that fucking blood vessel right now. I'll continue in a second. Just give me a moment. Oh yes, I'm sorry if I'm interrupting. Something. No, no, it's no problem, Daniel. It's just, just trying out a few new things. It's no big deal. It sounds like you're having a lot of fun there. Uh, it's just some bum we caught on the street nosing around the warehouse. Oh, we can't. Ha you can't. You can't, of course, have that going around. That would be terrible. Yeah, yeah. We really couldn't. So, I'm sure he's serving you well. Do you want me to step by? I have a few free hours, and I would love to see the mansion again. Oh yes, you could. Uh, I, I'm sure we could arrange that. Or you can come over here if you wish. Either way works. Whichever you prefer. Your priest has been talking about how we should form stronger bonds, so I feel like you've seen my home. It... Why don't you show me around yours? Yes, of course. Sure, sure. I'm, I'm sure you'd like to talk to Kinti again. Because she is still here. Yes, yes, uh, I don't think she enjoyed her visit at our place, but she might be more comfortable when, um, you know, she's in a friendlier, I suppose, place. These Camarilla vampires, they're really quite fragile as far as their psyches are concerned. Yes, indeed. Well, I will be um, around shortly, in an hour or so. We're nearly done here anyway, so uh, make ready the canvas that is your face. I will see to you presently. Yes, of course. Have a good, uh, good night. Yes, yes, you too. I'll see you soon. Yes, indeed. Sh uh, shuts off. Kintia is just standing there, one eyebrow raised. <laughs> So yes, Sally will be coming here. He has a almost disgusted look on his face. Why would you submit to that? I don't understand. It seems like a well, bad idea. A, I kind of got caught on a recording with my, this face. Not exactly the greatest thing ever, is no, it? Oh, a masquerade breach, I understand. Of course, it makes perfect sense. Yes, you can't have, you know, that happen. <laughs> What's funny is that the masquerade to... breach happened with this space. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sure uh, it's much so much easier to walk around town when no one can recognize your face. I just realized. I just realized. Exactly. Alexander. They'll think that the one in prison is his double. Yes. And that the real one <laughs> is here. Yes, of course. <laughs> Which means that he might just either be killed out of hand or released after a mind wipe. As in forget everything about vampires and the Sabbat. Not like it. Not like He's just running around completely un uh, unable to remember anything about the Sabbat. Let me think, what would they do with him? I'm pretty sure that the Sabbat have more or less been informed that uh, he, Sally put uh, Alexander's face on the new recruit here. Don't overestimate the amount of... Actually, has Carlos has seen you. Yeah, he's in fact had conversations with him. 
In that case, yes, it would have been knocked upwards when the question was raised. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the Sabbat aren't going to do anything with Alexander. He's still I still think there. he's an uh, infernal star. If they yes. haven't, if they figured out that he isn't an infernal, I still probably just having you having fun with him. I never, I love forgot, forgot it about him. Uh, yes. Meanwhile, you get an SMS, Satan, <laughs> informing you that uh, the doctors from the other pack would like to come over and access the library. Oh. Uh, okay. Let me just get back over there and uh, show them around. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I go and like prepare a table with every ta uh, table with a like white cloth on it and such, like large enough that for me to be lie on? Uh, you can certainly do that. Kinti will happily help you. And you notice that she has a fresh sketchbook ready to go. <laughs> she <laughs> helps you prepare <laughs> the room for the operation. Yes. Yeah, I must say, the the, the what's that? The, this institute may not it doesn't always seem like a true vampiric discipline. Now does it? Uh, almost I don't like know. the Tremere have some pretty interesting ideas about it. I heard. Well, they, they always they, have interesting ideas about a, a, a lot of things, no, don't they? I, what I heard was that it's apparently an offshoot of the Power the Gang Rel display, only projected outwards to affect others. Ooh, oh, really? Indeed. So, a mutation of the blood? Yes, yes, possibly the something that split in the distant past between those two bloodlines. They may well be related. Hmm, how curious. Did you, uh, by the way, did you know that I actually have Procyon? What a coincidence. You do? How yes. Interesting. I'm afraid I don't have any particular talents other than the ones my clan usually boasts. I am adequately competent at those. I'm sure of that. Turns out she has no. Lore of Flames at five. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Lore of Flames, I'd be a lot, a lot more scared if she had uh, the Infernalist version. I don't know. Like, a uh, three per turn, but it can only do three per turn is the problem. <laughs> if she attacks you while you're still asleep and she wakes earlier than you, you're fucked. Oh, uh, yes, of course. It's not, it's not, that's not going to be... That's, that's always the thing. Like, almost anyone could kill me. That's not the thing I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, in that case, you prepare the room as... Oh, well, that shouldn't be there. Get rid of that. Also, I'll be sure to show off the painting. Uh, I'll, I'll be sure to ask her to show off the paintings. That is she made about of pleasance. Okay, that's fine. Cause they are just that beautiful. Uh, the Malkavian would arrive first by about five minutes, I believe. So Satan, you may make your entrance as they are wrapping up with the preparations of all the things Daniel would like to have present for that, including his teddy bear for comfort. Well, more like the picture of the guy, so that she knows how to do it properly. Okay. <laughs> Is Satan obfuscated? I'd like to actually move a barrel of blood in there as well, if that works. I'll actually start off obfuscated when he's going inside. Okay, let's see if Kinti can see you make a contested roll. <laughs> Probably. Not something I'm actually really that good at, but hey. Hi. Whoops. Wrong difficulty. What is your level on that, by the way? I am at two! Okay. Crap, I should have remembered to roll it. Yeah, me too. Seven. Okay. She just waves at you as you walk in, obfuscated. Motions for you to come in. 
She walks past Daniel to stand by the... He's legitimately uh, just kind wall. of forgotten he's obfuscated, so... Yeah, she just stands by the wall, so Daniel isn't looking your way. She goes, I, gee, I wonder where the Malkavian is. wonder if he's creeping around invisible somewhere here. Oh, he's probably out in town still. Oh, no, I'm right here. I just, I just got here. Oh, we're gonna have visitors. Oh yes, I was. Uh, I need to. I should tell you. The uh, Sally is coming over. Oh, cool. I got Ruben. another duck that's coming over. I need to be right back. Okay. Why is it? Why is everyone left all of a sudden? I don't know. It's like they want you to suffer horribly. I know, right? They're focusing all my attention on you. <gasps> <laughs> so let me just, just, just place Lucy there. And... The... <clears throat> okay, there we go. I hope she rolls well on this. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I'm Did back. Nice Sorry rolls. about that. We love them. Uh, there's a knock on the front door. Oh. I go to open it. Kintia follows along, hanging by the wall. Ah, uh, greetings. You, I, I heard that. Uh, from my p uh, priest here that you were going to arrive. Uh, yes, you are my counterpart, Daniel, I assume. She steps forward, stretches out yes, her hand. Yes, shake her hand. Uh, if someone could show me to the library, I have things I need to look into. Of course. Okay. Oh, I am charming nice... today. Hi, charming. You're the Malkavian, <laughs> aren't you? Ah, yes. nice to meet you. Again. Yes, he's the priest. Oh, so, Lionel, was it? Lionel, yes. that was your name. Good. I remember. Uh, and yeah. Which is very... Kintia would know, it would be the very opposite direction of the library I showed her. Yes, Kintia would. Uh, meanwhile, the other guy that came with her uh, uh, turns to you, Satan. So, uh, there was someone here hey there. for a See while. You again. Yes, yes. Um, he was very good at doing the most wonderful thing to mortals, which is claws. Is he around? Well. You know, he you died. might actually think it's Daniel he's talking about. He, he he died horribly. Unless you're talking about Daniel. He has claws too, but he, he's way too good of a goody two-shoes to do that kind of thing. You he insult himself. himself back so much. I need, 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 need you to roll your perception alertness to see if you notice Kintia creeping behind you. Uh, who? Okay. Me? Not... Well, yeah, you can roll your perception alertness to see if sh you notice her uh, casually walking along and following Daniel. Nope. Alright. So I get to roll too? Yes, to see her leaving the room. Or to noticing it, rather. She just acts like everything's normal. And on a tie, I believe that doesn't work. All the hope is on the person here. Eh, the thing is, the Malkavian wouldn't have cared anyway. Yes, and that is perfectly fine. I was going to say that even if I saw it and everything and went, uh, ah, she's following them, whatever. Yes, uh, Lucy turns back and says, um... Do you really think you need an extra guard for me? I'm here as a friend. Oh no, we don't, of course not. This is the, uh, this is uh, Kintia, the Camarilla uh, that's currently uh, visiting the town. 
I'm sure you've heard of it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, she made some very beautiful paintings. I'm sure she'll want to show you. I think I'll pass. Thank you. Oh, but trust me, they are so very beautiful. I'm not... Interested. Anyway, shall we come along? Shall we go along? Yes, yes, of course. She glares back at Kintia. Turns around and slowly heads down. Kintia just continues casually walking along with you. <laughs> she would very much like to see the real library. But the library I showed her was completely, uh, uh, completely what she was looking for, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Now she wants to see the other one. Oh. Uh, I see, uh, uh, anyway, I go into the basement and open the still, uh, I'm guessing still broken lock on the uh, uh, door. Yes, it's still broken. Do you have to kick it in? No. No, you don't. It just swings okay. up and it just doesn't latch properly. Ah, oh, here it is. Both of if them, you all... Both of them just walk in, just... Kintia turns to Daniel. I guess you didn't trust me enough to show me this? Oh, no, I simply thought the, uh, the, li the, thing I sh uh, the library I showed was more appropriate at the time. So what's in here? Oh, there's just some old occult stuff. Oh, I see. Lucy, meanwhile, is already digging through the books. Yes, yes, that will do. That will do very nicely. No, that's useless. Huh. For, for some reason, I have control over her uh, character token. You might want to change that. Crap, I meant to put her in your journals. Thank you, Jack Lore. It's like, I just noticed while I was, uh, while I was box selecting uh, stuff around here, I was like, oh, apparently I can control her. Huh. Let me just add the people you have met from the other packs to your journals. Oh, by the way, uh, what's the name of your pack now? I don't think I've heard of it yet. The Night Thorns. Oh, thank you. Uh... You were the one in charge, I believe, for that pack, or were you? Pretty sure it wasn't this chick. No, that's... Was it this dude? Crap, no, it was this dude. I need to add a few more notes to these things. I'm pretty sure you do. Thank you, Dracolor. I appreciate the vote of confidence. <laughs> I have all my confidence in you. So... Yeah, Kintia takes a look at a few of the books. Let's see if she has any kind of skill for figuring out what these are. Does she even have a occult? No, but she has such a high academics that she might have heard of some of them, which, since she's not studying anything or making sense of how valuable any of this is, I'd say that at difficulty 8, she can identify the works. Yeah, she could probably identify. She probably has no idea of their do what, what exactly they're about, but she probably has a good idea of that they, uh, that they, what they are, what they do. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've, I've heard some of these names from history. Um, yes, yes, that one's supposed to be a myth. Uh, yeah, no. So, when is Sally getting here? Oh, she'll, I'm sure she'll be here soon. Uh, Lucy, if you will excuse me, I have a meeting with the, uh, with, I, uh, I'm going to meet with the Skull Centipede Doctors, Lucy, uh, Sally. Yes, yes, of course. I'll, I'll be fine down here. Goes upstairs. Uh, actually, Kintia will pause in the doorway for a few moments. You coming? Huh. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Just thought something was off about her for a moment. Not enough success on perception empathy to sense something specific. I'm pretty sure it's the infernalism thing she had going for her, but whatever. Nobody I... knows about that now, do they? Nope! 
<laughs> Nobody does. And Actually, you're... nope. My Malkavian knows something about it. I think you picked something up about them messing with something below the copper mine. Right? Actually, uh, I think uh, I forgot it was the copper mine. But yeah, I did get a... I once got a, an insight on one of the vampire stuff related. Mm -hmm. And you told me that uh, some pack was uh, getting into infernalism. Or being influenced by it, I'm going to say... Influenced that... by it, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Wouldn't say they're outright infernalists yet, most likely. It hasn't been long enough. Yeah. They just started becoming corrupted. Yeah, so my character does have an idea that something's going on. It could just be your pack, given what Alexander did. That was kind of the issue I was with. <laughs> I was like, out of character, I'm pretty sure that's for another pack. In character, I don't think you can tell. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to split the video, and if we don't want to take a break, we can continue right away.